schools welcomed half their kids back in the first day. They're one of the few districts in the state doing a phased in learning approach. Claire Kreit shows us how they're working to keep kids and staff healthy and safe this fall. The halls of Caldwell Elementary are filled with friendly faces many students haven't seen since March. While these kids are excited to get back in the classroom to learn, they're also learning about health and safety tips. And that starts with these paw prints on the floor. From the squeak of the school bus to the waves coming from teachers and administrators. You can feel the excitement of the first day of school. This is the bell to tell you that class is starting. This year, however, looks quite a bit different. Mondays and Thursdays, we have half the kids that come, and then the other half will come on Tuesdays and Fridays. Assistant Principal Jennifer Almond explains their phased in learning approach. And then Wednesday, we'll have a virtual day for everyone to practice just being away from school. While many teachers on their staff have years of experience, Allman says it's a learning curve for everyone. And no matter how many years you have, you, we are all first-year teachers and first-year educators walk, walking through this. My mask is going to stay with me. Rachel Wooten is one of those teachers with nine years under her belt. Through all the emotion and the unknowns, I think... Us as teachers, we're just so glad that we actually can be back. Along with her normal first day lesson plans. I want everyone to hold it up. She also has to teach her students things like social distancing in the hallways using these paw prints, how to wash hands, use hand sanitizer. Yes, sir. Easton, what might this be? A clip-on Germax? Yes, it is. It's like a clip-on Germax. And most importantly, how to keep track of their mask. Clip it to one of the straps on your mask. Does my mask fall on the ground? No, it's going to stay with me. While there are lots of new policies and still lots of unknowns, smiley faces or did teachers and administrators die? say seeing the kids back in the halls makes it all worth it. That one brings tears every time we talk about it. Just having those kids on campus, um, that's the best. This phased in learning will last two weeks. Administrators will make a decision before Labor Day. Reporting in Benton, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you. Thanks very much.